Lewis just made the exact perfect segue without even knowing that this is where I was going next into the next thing I want to talk about, which is exactly that. When we talk about what are the motives for going into Syria? Okay, we, we heard from President Obama, this very simplistic juvenile, obviously not accurate or at least not complete explanation that Assad used chemical weapons against his own people and therefore we have a duty reading between the lines as the kind of watchman of the of the earth to go in there and make that make that stop make that humanitarian crisis stop and i said right away any time that the primary reason being given for a military incursion is any type of humanitarian concern it is a red flag and we must explore that further and we now actually have a very interesting article in the guardian which uh, giula sent to me explaining how that uh, the the agitation us agitation over Syria against Syria has actually been going on for a long time, long before these recent atrocities that took place, and that we can actually find a number of different uh, pieces of evidence, including what NATO Secretary General Wesley Clark retired. Uh, NATO Secretary General Wesley Clark, Clark uh, spoke about in a memo, which uh, was from the office of the U.S. Secretary of Defense just weeks after 9-11, which already was talking about attacking and destroying the government in seven countries in five years. Syria was on that list. And as you continue reading down this article on The Guardian, which I, I encourage you to take a look at, you see more and more data, more and more evidence that there are really two concerns here. There is this layer two, which I spoke about, which are concerns over natural resources, Lewis. The oil, uh, the, there, there are all sorts of different negotiations going on regarding oil pipelines, Russia's involved, Iran, the connection between Iran and Syria. So as always, we have layer two, which is natural resources. But Lewis just got to layer three, and this is the one that many people are going to layer two, which is let's look at natural resources as the real reason be behind the humanitarian catalyst. Let's look at layer three, which is control over people. And this has a couple of different layers. One is exactly as Lewis said, control over the government, control over who is in power. And that really is in the context, Lewis, of Iran, which seems to be an increasingly significant piece of the puzzle here. And it is control over people. And even the natural resource control is control over people, because what do you ultimately control when you control natural resources? You control the people in the sense of the people on the ground and you control the people in terms of the government. So you're absolutely right. This is ultimately about controlling people, which is kind of the biggest natural resource that exists. Definitely. And it, it's a location where apart from the obvious natural resources, it's just somewhere where you would want to have influence and a presence just because of its location and the surrounding countries uh, politically. No question about it. So please, as you're talking to people about the Syria situation, it's good to go to layer two, which is the natural resource issue. But take it even further and say, let's put all of that aside and look at the people control issue. That is really what is underpinning this and all of the geopolitical implications. 